class, welcome to your learning today. Today we're going to look at lines of symmetry. Lines of symmetry are imaginary lines and you have to imagine that you folded the shape in half and if it's equal on both sides, they match, then that has a line of symmetry. Today we're going to fold shapes and draw on the lines of symmetry so you can work out how many lines of symmetry each 2D shape has. Good luck! Today, you're going to try and work out how many lines of symmetry the following shapes have. You have got a square rectangle, oblong rectangle, regular hexagon, parallelogram, regular pentagon, equilateral triangle and a circle. Today, I'm going to show you how to work out the line of symmetry for some of the shapes in front of you. Then at home, you're going to have a go at all of them. First, let's have a look at the square rectangle. I'm going to fold it as many ways as I can to see the lines of symmetry. So remember, it has to be the same when you fold it in half. So as you can see, I've folded it once and it's equal both sides, they match. So I'm going to open it back up and fold it a different way. So at the moment, I've got two lines of symmetry. You can't see them very clearly, but I am going to draw them on in a moment. I'm going to do all of my folds first. So I've got one, two, I'm going to try diagonal. Three, I'm going to do it the other way. Four, so I've got four lines of symmetry. I'm just going to draw them on. So I'm just following the lines that I folded to show the lines of symmetry. That they are equal, either side they match. So as you can see, a square rectangle has got four lines of symmetry. Next, I've got the equilateral triangle and I'm going to do the same. I'm going to fold it as many ways as I can and see if it has a line of symmetry. So I'm going to fold it in half first so I can see one line of symmetry. I'm going to take this corner here to the top and see if that works. Oh, it does. So I've done that corner in half. I've done this corner. I'm going to do this corner next. And I have another line of symmetry. So I'm just going to draw the lines of symmetry on for the triangle. One. Two. Three. Three lines of symmetry for the equilateral triangle. Next, we've got the regular pentagon. I've already drawn the lines of symmetry on, but I'm going to show you how I folded it. I always start at one of the vertices and fold it in half at the vertice. So one line of symmetry, and then I turn it to another vertice and fold it again. Because remember, to get a line of symmetry, you have to fold the shape in half. That's the only way a line of symmetry works. So I've done one, two, three, four, five. Five lines of symmetry on a regular pentagon. The last shape that I'm going to do with you is a parallelogram. I would like you to predict how many lines of symmetry you think a parallelogram has got and then I'm going to have a go. So I've got the parallelogram in front of me. I'm going to fold it down the middle first. I'm going to see if I've got a line of symmetry. Ah, I've got bits overhanging, so that is not a line of symmetry. So that doesn't work. I'm going to fold it the other way. Oh no, I've got bits overhanging again. That's not a line of symmetry. The only other way I could try is diagonal. 
Well, it doesn't work that way. Let's try the other way. Oh no, that doesn't work either. So a parallelogram must have zero lines of symmetry. Have a go at working out the lines of symmetry for all of the shapes on your home learning. I've done four for you. The ones left are a oblong rectangle, a regular hexagon and a circle. See how you get on. I'll give you a clue, a circle might trick you. Keep going, it's nearly half term. See you soon.